Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are continuing on our series of uh, examining my collection of Thomas Wooden Railway items. Uh, these are all boxed. Uh, last video we left off doing the Tomy versions, um, and we also sorry we also looked at the second that I uh, sorry we'll break it down into two parts of my learning curve because there is so much of them to get through. Uh, I've just got a few of those other sort of mid 2000s ones that I didn't really show off in the last video. Uh, two that I just got recently. I've got a salty. Bought it off a seller. Now you notice though the bloody label is missing. It bloody pissed me off. Uh, let that lesson, let that be a lesson to all of you. Make sure you always check every picture as much as you can before you buy it. Just always make sure. Yeah, rookie mistake. I should have known better. I've been doing this for a while. So that's salty. Uh, the other one is a very good price, actually, I got for. It's uh, Spencer in the mid-2000s version. Yeah, $25. That's that's a good deal. Uh, considering every person and their dog wants to try and sell a Mattel one for $50 or $60, yeah, I call bullshit on that. Uh, but that's another video. This guy was only $25. That's a much better version. Uh, I think it actually looks a lot better. It doesn't have that uh, glossy, sil that really gloss silver sort of color. Uh, it's a bit more... Um, I'd say it's a good doll, but it's it's definitely looks a lot better than the other ones to me. Yeah, that's Spencer. All right, just getting to a few more quickly. Two thousand nine Henrietta. I believe that was only just brought out for a couple of years after it was um, discontinued, and you can only find it in a few of the a few of the value packs. Uh, yeah, two thousand nine. Uh, they, these I do see these around. Um, a lot. I know a lot of other sellers up here and um, enthusiasts. I think a lot of people seem to have this. I, it kind of makes me believe it was sort of, it was sort of sort of widespread and uh, it was available. Yeah, it wasn't too hard to find. All right, so who have we got next? This guy's cool. I don't mind this later version, but I do endeavour to get an earlier version. Duncan, he's a two thousand and eight. Yeah, I love the look of him. He looks really cool. Uh, nice colour, that yellow with the black. Yellow label. Not much more else to say. He's kind of cool. Like I said, I want to get an early one. But he was part of that lot that I got off the lady, which I referred to in the last video. All right. Caroline. This is the last year release, 2005. She only ran from 2002 to 2005. The first year and the last year, probably the um, the most infrequent ones to find. Uh, I wouldn't say they're super rare, but they are less common. Definitely with the... Um, sort of the, what would you call it, just the open, so the boxes that sort of opens in the 2002. And these one, this would be the last year, it's dated 2005. That's, yeah, it would be it discontinued that year, so I don't think they would have made many, but yeah, managed to find one. Caroline? Probably my last, my favorite, it's one of my favorite box items to have actually. I do like this, because this is another fairly requested character. Elizabeth, yeah. Love this one. Awesome. Very awesome. This is 2005. This is also her last year as well. Uh, you can find them fairly infrequently. Uh, they're not, like again, I would not call them super rare, but they are more on the harder side to find boxed. Um, uh, I've lost my train of thought here. Yeah, it's a good one to have. I mean, there's not much more else to say. Cool character. I think everyone sort of wants one with the orange tray. All right, I think that's just the last of the sort of, you know, we'll call it that sort of style of box with the sort of curved. Um, we'll call it, say, after 2003 onwards, or 2004 onwards. All right, the other ones I want to get through are some, basically we'll call them 98, 99 to about the year 2004. Yeah, they're very, they're sort of that sort of, um, so I would call that sort of the golden age of the learning curve stuff. I, I really think this is when they sort of brought out so many characters. You had sort of so much very, sorry, there's so much variedness to it all. And they're just, they're, they're really cool. I just think the, yeah, the packaging, they're a lot smaller. I guess for me, I can store them easier. Um, I, I don't know what else to say to that. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right. Who we got? Just acquired this recently. Um, I got this back in June. I got another ship. I had a shipment come from America. This is a 2001 Butch. Yeah, really cool. Really, really cool. 
I believe it's the first year of Butch. Um, I should have done a bit more research on that before starting this video. But I'm about I'm about 80% sure that Butch is the first year. That's a, it's cool. It's completely intact, boxed. All the items are there. Because with always with these things, you've got to wonder if they've been tampered with. It doesn't look like it's got a blemish on it. It's, that's really nice. Found that on, on a, um, in eBay for, uh, it was unchallenged at auction for $16, $17. Yeah, can't go wrong. That's, that's a good price. All right, Butch. Where to from here? All right. Got 2001 Fred. Sold at Toy World here back in the 2000s. Yeah, he's a 2001. He's kind of cool. That's the second year before he's discontinued. Obviously, your 2002 were probably going to be one of your harder ones to find. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen a box 2002 one. Um, yeah, he's kind of cool. I mean, I got that for... A, there was actually a few there I'll be probably able to point out to you. I got it a lot for $100 just up here in uh, Brisbane, just down the eastern suburbs. Did really well to find that lot. Uh, I can't believe no one had actually bought it. It was on uh, Facebook or Gumtree, one or the two. Grabbed it. Fred. All right, in that same lot actually came two of these. I managed to sell one. Stepney, 2001. Yeah, kind of cool. I like it. The face is very different um, to the to the earlier versions, I believe. Um, yeah, he's kind of cool. I do like him. See the text on there, Stepney. That, that text there is a, probably your biggest giveaway of 2001 too. Just sort of, if you sort of make note of that that font there. If I pull back the, if I pull back the Fred, it's kind of, uh, it's nearly identical. I'm sort of making a liar out of me. Yeah, they tend to have these two sort of styles of fonts. Yeah, uh, that's your give us, That's your biggest uh, giveaway that you've got a 2001. All right, let's move along here. I'll do these ones as, a, as the same time because they are a pair, as we know. Dodge Splatter. Yeah, very cool. Just found him at an op shop probably last year, sometime early last year. He was only $10. Uh, I haven't, the other box, I did have another one of these, but the box is very torn, uh, sort of worn and sort of more on the tattered side. So I've kept this one, it's in the most uh, shape. Uh, I've got Dodge there. It doesn't have the pamphlet, but that's not a big deal. I'm finding, I, I'm able to source out these pamphlets every now and then. Uh, yeah, Dodge is cool, 2001. Uh, yeah, can't get wrong. Nice items. Okay, who we got next? All right, another little cool little fun one. George. What have we got dated? He's 2004, so like I said, he's, this probably all the last, I don't have any 2004s in here, so he's probably one of the only few. Yeah, he's cool, this little steamroller. Um, yeah, a rather, uh, just an, a sort of an average character to me. Uh, boxed is cool, uh, I mean, you can find a George Loose anywhere. Nothing special about him. Yeah, Georgie. Chuck him back. Got me out. This is another little fun one that I found in Sorry, I, where I said I found that splatter before, I found it also down this place in Victoria, uh, Christmas 2018. And they had this there, and I just thought this is too weird to pass on. Yeah, take a look at this. The sawmill logs. I just did not picture coming, I just did not ever think I'd come across one of these at all. Uh, yeah, and it cost me $15. That's pretty good, we consider what they go for on eBay. Uh, yeah, this is also, oh, this is a 99. With that, that style. Yeah, I mean, can't complain. I think it's got everything. It's got the. I'm not sure if that. Has, I don't think that's a character card. It's just got a pamphlet. Yeah. Sawmill logs. Kind of cool. I've noticed other people are sort of really interested in that one. Yeah. All right. What have we got here? Got two more. See a little basic one. A part of that lot that I found out there in East Brisbane it came with this cargo car. 2001, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. It's kind of cool. Yeah, like I said, it worked out to be about $5 each. I can't complain. Uh, the other one I'll show you is Bulgy. Yeah, really cool. I'm uh, missing the pamphlet, 
but has the character card. This is a 2001. I, yeah, I got him um, on an, an auction on eBay for $8. I think it was unchallenged. Seven ninety nine starting bid, and no one shared an interest, so I I I pounced at it. Yeah, uh, just noticing that there. I think it's a different character card, probably not of the generation it should be. I'll double check that though. I'll do that in a later video. Anyway, that's Bulgy. Okay, we got now. All right, start again. Do a few other. Few other interesting ones here. Got here. All right. Found in the op shop here last year. At the same time, I found the Dodge. Is the breakdown train? That's a two thousand and one version. Yeah, kind of cool. I mean, the breakdown train. Yeah, nothing much to cry about. It is what it is. Yeah, chuck that back. Uh, this also at, e at eBay a couple of years ago, found this. I think this was about, I think this was starting bid $10. I uh, went unchallenged. Can't complain. Glory one with the flatbed. Yeah, he's he's cool. There's that font there of the 2001. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. He's cool. He's completely intact. The box is a little bit sort of out of shape, but yeah, who cares? You know, you can't be too picky with these things. They are old and discontinued items. All right, that's Lori one. Just jumping around a bit here. A couple of cool ones here. Just acquired this, these two recently. Found this Australia for about $30. This is a Harvey. This comes with a little uh, bonus track piece. It's kind of cool. It's kind of uh, very different. He's 2005. Um, yeah, I thought 2005 went with a different style box, but um, I, guess, I guess I'm incorrect. Yeah, Harvey, he's he's cool. I've always wanted him. I don't sort of want any of the other versions. I definitely wanted a, a learning curve version. Um, I mean, I should say I think learning curve was kind of the only version that was available. But I definitely wanted a, like, mid-2000s one. Yeah, he's cool. Harvey. All right, the other one acquired recently from the U.S., uh, about 50, yeah, this was about $15, uh, no bids. Uh, lucky to get this, Thumper. Very cool, very cool box item. Yeah, these, these don't appear all that common um, on eBay. You, like, they do go up every now and then, uh, but they're sort of, yeah, they sort of get lost amongst the door. This is 2001 version. Thumper, he's kind of cool. Got the tracks there still intact. Yeah, awesome train, awesome. All right, where should we go to now? All right, I'll show a few more. Some kind of cool ones here, just bear with me. All right, this is another 2001 version of this Sodor China Clay Cars. Yeah, really cool. Very good. I believe 2001 or 2002 is the last year of this character. So I guess this sort of makes that not super rare, but it's, yeah, it's, eh. yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I, I do like this version of it. It's got the text underneath it. I do want to get the 97 version of it. Um, I've seen a couple on eBay, just trying to get it at the right price. This is also part of that lot that I got off the later. I found the Stepney and the Fred and a few others. Yep, so the Training Clay Cars, 2001. Uh, it's cool. I'll definitely do a character review on him at some other point because uh, there's a few of the little interesting stories with this piece okay let's go next to all right uh, the original lot that i bought about that 20 or 25 trains off had this guy in it oh yeah murdoch new in box that is a he's definitely one to hold on to he's uh not very common new in boxed i uh, don't think i've i've never come across one in australia new in boxed Having said that, I haven't spent every single hour of the day looking. Uh, maybe one has, but even if it did, it was in Australia, it'd be eighty to hundred dollars easily. They go for a fair bit on the American eBay. Uh, what's this? This is two thousand and three. Yeah, he's very cool. Very cool item. Yeah, I I can't believe he was worked. It would have been worked out to be about ten dollars for that. So cannot complain one bit. Such a cool train. Just the car on him. He's he's one of my favourite trains actually. 
Always a good seller too. People always want to buy it. Okay. I acquired this in Australia. Some lady up in uh, Tari, New South Wales. Well, not that many years know where that is. Catherine, the 2001 version. Yes, really cool. Um, besides the little damage part there at the box. This is a very, very hard one to find. Um, new box, definitely very hard. I had to pay about, I think I paid about $50 for this. Um, I thought it was probably a little bit much, but yeah, looking at the way that it's going um, overseas and the general trend of all things Thomas Wooden Railway, yeah, it stacks up all right now. It stacks up all right. Um, yeah, cool item, 2001. Uh, the 2002 is the last year of Catherine. I'm trying to find probably the 2002 box would be harder. But you're going to see the 99, 2000, 2001 boxes probably the most frequently. Yeah. Catherine Wren. Really cool train. All right. So I'll go through. All right. Uh, in, that same, in that same lot, I found Big City Engine. Yes. Really, really cool. He is a 2000 N one version which is very interesting uh i'm gonna say that's a case of uh using leftover parts because i believe that he's meant to be dated from 2002 to 2005 again it doesn't necessarily mean that this is fake or anything it's just it's just a case of when they made these things they use so much leftover parts from different years things of that nature yeah he's this guy is so cool uh he is so cool he's I mean, the best thing would be actually. I'm gonna pull away for a sec here. I just want to try and date the wheels on it. Oh, okay, that's bizarre. The wheels are dated 2003, so very. It doesn't look like it's been played with or anything though. So it's a bizarre case that one. I'm not 100 sure, sure what the go with that is. Yeah. Anyway, I'll do a character view on him another time. Here's a cool train. I've always wanted him boxed. I uh, managed it. When he was in that part of that lot, I said, yes, please. Uh, like I said, I'll take that yesterday. Thank you. Big city engine. Cool. All right. Where are we going off to now? All right. Down to the last few here. We've got some really special ones in here. All right. Let's get these two out of the way. All right. In the lot I bought out there in East Brisbane. This nearly made what I paid for it was probably nearly worth just as much as this one. Boxed 1999 sawmill log car. Yeah, very, very hard to find here in Australia. Uh, you're gonna struggle to find that one and it's gonna command a pretty high price. For a log car, for an, an item that's, you know, quite frankly is now not that exciting. It's bizarrely, it bizarrely attracts quite a high price. It's yeah, I saw this in the picture. I just had to, that's sort of what set me off. If she didn't even want to sell the whole lot, if she was happy to sell it to me in bunch, I'd, bits and pieces, I definitely wanted this. This is, yeah, like I said, it's a 99 version. So bloody cool. I uh, just, he's completely intact. He's got a character card and the pamphlet in there. I mean, just, yeah, look at it. It hasn't been played with. It's just immaculate. Uh, yeah, I don't know much else to say. I'm just fascinated by it. I just love that I've got this one. Every things, everyone come out here and just look at my items. So I just, I always get fascinated by this one. Weird, yes, but it is what it is. All right. All right. All right. Quite in the states, probably about two years ago. I think what I pay. I don't think I only paid about twenty US for this. Uh, that is a steal. This is a steal by any stretch of the imagination. All right, 1999. Rickety, troublesome truck. Yes, really cool. Really cool item. That text there, 2001. Yeah, I just, I love the fact that I have this box and the fact that I got him so cheap and um, when I can't believe no one had bought him. I just, I, I licked my lips and I thought it was still for, when it was still for sale. Thought shit, I'll buy it now. Buy it now. Yeah, he, he's such a cool, cool character. Definitely look forward to doing a review on him. Uh, yeah, Rickety the Troublesome Truck. Okay. 
All right, two two other ones had a very limited run in the early two thousands. Sort of when I sort of speak of that golden age of the early that learning curve period from say ninety eight ninety nine to two thousand five. These two would would constitute and fall into that sort of time period. I speak of Frank and Wilbert. Okay, so that lot that I bought out there in East Brisbane had two of these in it. I already put, I actually bought these from a US seller. I think that was maybe 40. I think that was maybe 45 or 50. Uh, either way, that's still a relatively good price for these. Uh, these command a lot more. I think it was it Miss Thomas Queen on eBay, on eBay down here in Australia. She's got that up for 150. Hasn't adjusted the price. I'm like, yeah, good luck, lady. You still got it after four years. I wonder why. Yeah, these are so cool. Uh, to have these new in box, it's it's, um, it's it's definitely one that you can tick off and say that you have. Um, but like I said, um, with that lot of the sawmill log car, Fred, the Stepneys, and the Soda China Clay cars, I had two of these as well. I didn't actually notice them in the picture. When I got to the lady's house, um, she produced these as well. I had nearly passed out. <laughs> it's so, it was so cool just to have these again. I think I flogged them off for about, I think I sold them for $80 each as well, so... That even that paid the set paid for itself and then some more. Uh, can't complain. Yeah, two thousand and one version. Uh, that will be both of them. Uh, you can find two thousand and two, but again, I don't think they sold immensely well. Uh, that's why they're only pulled after a couple of years. It's funny how sort of everything becomes more popular once it's gone. These these guys would constitute that. Um, very obscure characters there. They're, they're hard to find, boxed. Uh, they don't appear that frequently. And even in Australia, you struggle to find these loose. This is always one that if you find this this or this loose, you can command like a $30 upwards price. No dramas. They're, they're really cool. Love them. Frank and Wilbert. All right. Got four more to go. Very much four special ones. All right. Both of these are quite in the US. Uh, the first was for about 30 US dollars. 99 brown label Daisy. Yes, just just so awesome. Uh, that's such a, I just, yeah. I love the fact that I have this. Uh, this is a 99 Daisy. I mean, this this has a, a fair consistent run from its, its inception to uh, I think it goes for nearly every year, doesn't it? I think up to about 2004 or five, 2003, and then it's re-released for one year in 07, maybe. I might have that wrong. When I do a character review, I'll get some more information on that. Yeah, 99. Box is still so much intact. It's just immaculate. I just, yeah, I couldn't pass up on $30 US, even that. That's a... That's a steal. Um, this this would be anywhere from 60, 70, 80 US easily, even more. I've seen that some people try and sell it for more. So cool, Daisy, brown label, 99. All right, this one proved uh, quite a bit, quite a while. Uh, sorry, start again. This one, yes, presented itself quite a challenge to try and find boxed. Uh, that not only they don't appear that often. Uh, they're very. Very interesting to find these. I had to pay about, I just paid under six, I paid 55 US all together with this. That's when our rate was fairly high, it was about 81 cents. So I don't know where it out to be about, oh, just over a bit over $80. This is Boko, the 2000N one box version. Uh, again, uh, I believe it will still will be dated 2003 on the wheels. It was 2003, they used the 2001 box, and that explains the big city engine, which I just realized, <laughs> nonetheless. Okay, all right, Boko. Yeah, um, this will command a very high price if you look around for this on eBay. Anywhere up from, oh geez, uh, in Australia, there's one for about 85 at the moment, I think it was. Um, 85 with like 15 postage, I don't know why it costs $15 to post, but let's not get into that okay yep boko i mean this is just one of those characters that everyone sort of loves i mean everyone just you you want a boko it's one of those early early release characters yeah i mean just look at it it's it's so cool 
Just an awesome box diamond to have. If you collect Thomas Wooden Rally, I think you, you definitely want one of these. And so happy that I have one. And I just, yeah, love it. Love it to bits. Boko. All right. All right, last two. Um, I love the last two probably the most as box items. I don't think, necessarily think they are the rarest, but again, I just, I just love that I have these two. All right. Purchased in the US, uh, I think I paid about, I think I paid 44 all up in, in, with postage. That's a pretty good price. But, but Neil, I know a, a fellow subscriber, will uh, get a kick out of seeing this one, new in box. Yeah, he's he's so cool. 99 version, uh, it's great, it's all intact there. Uh, yeah, he's got the character card. Like I said, that character card for Neil. Yeah, one of the rarest. Yep, you won't find that very often. 90, not yet, 99, like I said. Um, you can see, as you can see with the text there. Uh, I believe there's only a few characters off the top of my hand. It's Neil, Catherine, and NW Breakvan, I think, share that font. And you probably do find on a few other things dated 2001 or 2002. I'm not 100% sure, but it was very few characters that sort of had that that text, Neil. Yeah, look at him. He's, he's just immaculate. Just such like the box is still held up intact. It's it's perfect condition. That's it's a very yeah. I mean you do they do come up uh, somewhat on American eBay, but again like they they command a pretty high price nowadays. Uh, I think there is one there might be one on the Australian eBay market, but I think again it costs more than a hundred dollars, um, which is not unreasonable. But I, like I said, I just I wouldn't pay it. When I can find it cheaper over, overseas in the States. Yeah, Neil. Just another one of those awesome characters, I think, from the early 2000s. It's just, just look at it. Just, it's so simple. It's just a little small green thing. It's just S and M2. Don't know what the hell that means, but he's so cool. I remember when I first found one of these, even just loose, because I knew it was discontinued, not made. So thrilled. That yeah, was, was such a cool train. Again, he's also one of my favorite characters. Yeah. All right, I'll leave my favourite one for last. This one, very hard to find. Sorry, no, okay, let's not back that up. Not hard to find, boxed in the US. There's actually about five or six of them boxed in the US at the moment. And pretty regularly, there's about four to six of them boxed. Uh, this, however, in Australia, this is uh, this is a character that even like the most diehard enthusiasts, they always struggle to find this character. Not very common at all. I I forget what I paid for this. I think I paid just, I think it was $50 with an offer. I think he accepted 45 and it was like $4 postage. So I paid just about 50 US for it. Again, that was one of the rate, the exchange rate was pretty good. Yeah, take a look. This bike for brake van or NW brake van. Just, just an awesome train. So cool. Just that face, the colour, just that the, the style of the, um, the carriage. There you go. There's that text underneath. It's 99. Missing the pamphlet. Uh, not a big deal though because I've got a few more 99 pamphlets on the way. Uh, I'll chuck that in that one to sort of complete it, so to speak. Yeah. This guy's also only around for a couple of years. I think he's 99 to 2001 or 2002. I'm going to say, yeah, he's got a pretty short run. But he, for whatever reason, yeah, in Australia, I managed to find one in Australia. I think the lady was sort of, it was in a bunch with a couple of soda mail coaches, Ada Jane and Mabel, uh, a couple of troublesome trucks. They had about like 497 troublesome trucks. And, and Neil, and I think I had a couple of Flying Scotsman tenders in it. Didn't have the Flying Scotsman, but had the tenders. Yeah, she wanted about 200 for the, the lot of them. And it probably worked out to be about 15 trains so a bit of a price but it had an nw brake van in there and i managed to sell for about 70 dollars so it's so sought after i mean it's just such a one of those one of those boxed items just to get if you if you love thompson rally this has to, this is a must-have sort of for any collector it's definitely and you know at that chance like 50 dollars uh yeah took it up um I do believe I saw one for about 55 the other day on eBay. Again, so I think the price is still 
holding relatively still. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the NW break man. I could go on and on about him. I uh, love it. It's just it's one of my favorite favorite box items that I've got. Never take that away from me. The spiteful break man. All right, um, we'll just wrap it up there. That's that's the that kind of concludes the last of all the learning curve items that I have. That was probably more of a lengthy video, uh, but like I said, that gets rid of and knocks them all down out of the way. I think I'll just have the early nineties box to to show off. Uh, that's a that's a fun box. I definitely love the items in that. Uh, I'll put that. We'll do that at a later time though. Um, as always. Share your opinions, your thoughts, your comments, like and subscribe to the channel and your videos. I'll see you guys at a later date. You guys take care. Bye-bye.